good to come in the house of God. And it don't matter if there's a thousand people. It don't matter if there's 50 folks. And it don't matter if there's 15 of us. It's still, you can still feel that anointing of God. Amen. You know what? Because somebody has reached out that day. And I'm going to tell you, Rochelle was really anointed. And all the testimonies and appreciate all those things. Amen. And Sister Paula said, said something. I like that old song. Though. That I could still go free. And do this for me. So unworthy to live and not fit to give. There's a man on the cross who put me in his will and said, Still go free. No matter what I've done, Lord, what kind of man would reach down his hand and do this for me, Lord? Lord, I'm worthy to live. Lord, and not fit to give. Put the man on the cross. He put me in his will and said I could still go free. Lord, I could still go free. Aren't you glad you're free tonight? And said I could still go free And said I could still go free Aren't you glad that you're free tonight, amen? Thank God I am free, free, free From this world of sin
that he will bring me out and show me the way. I'm so glad I found out that he will bring me out and show me the way. Brother Timothy. Amen. We can sing our heart out. If we don't put that in, you ain't gonna get nothing out of here. Like a bird out of prison. Take him his flight. Like a blind man that God he gave back his sight. Like a poor rich beggar.
the now. He always wants to do something. But it depends on us and how willing we are to let go of the things that's holding us back tonight. Why would you ask him, Lord, clean my heart, clear my mind, clean my hands, purify my mind.
this hand Beginning and the end Beginning and the end He's a God has free and one The Father, Spirit, and Son He's the Lion and the Lamb He's the Lion and the Lamb How great is our God She would be
set me free. Are you free? Broken by the prince of me. I'm going to bow. Jesus to see. Glory to God. He has set me free. Now I am tired. Tired still. Darkness of night. Drifting away. Now my feet are planted on the high ground. Glory to God. All the time. He set me free. Yes, he set me free. He broke in my heart. Praise God for me. I'm going to bow. Jesus to see. Glory to God. Set me free. Well, let's give him some praise.
Thank you, Jesus. I'm going to give the Lord a big praise. Yeah, let me love him tonight. Yeah, let me appreciate him. Thank you, Jesus. Serve the Lord. We'll pay off after a while. I believe that, don't you? Thank you, Jesus. I really do. Thank God. We have to put our shoulder to the wheel. Make our calling, our election sure. And that's just what the Bible said. Make your calling and your election sure. Get where God wants you to be and stay there. Can you say amen on your knees? Press your way into the kingdom of God. And you know, I believe this was all my heart that, that we have the door of what God's going to do. He's going to perfect the church. He's going to bring the people in to perfection because he, he's coming after that kind of church. Amen. Amen. Bible said that he shall present himself a glorious church. Present to himself a glorious church. Not having spot, blemish, or wrinkle or any such thing. And how many we have to line up with the Lord? We have to line up with Jesus. Line up with the Word. Get in place with God and stay there. You know, there's a great, great falling away in our time. People go in every direction. All kind of, uh, of spirits are creeping in among God's people undetected. <laughs> unaware. But the one thing about it, the Word of God will find it. When the Word is preached, it will find it. The Word of God will find sin. It will deal with it. The Holy Ghost will. The Bible said we... When he, the spirit of truth, has come, he'll reprove the world, right. didn't he, of sin. But I believe we're at a time that, that the devil is trying to distort people, trying to discourage folks, using everything that he come up with. Right. The truth. We are in a battle, but we're going to win. Amen. Bible said, greater is he that's in you, and he that's in the world. How can a lesser power defeat a greater power? Come on. Come on. I said, how can a lesser power defeat a greater power? Greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. And what God is doing and what he's leading us into, the devil is trying to throw up a reach in the spokes. Yes, yes. Right. Come on, brother. He's trying to hinder and hurt, discourage, and make people throw the towel in, right at the end. Come on. Jesus. Right at the end. Yes. And those, that, that's some of the devil's main tricks is right before the breakthrough. Right. He causes folks to turn around. It didn't ain't worth the fight. I want you to know it is worth the fight. Don't you ever let the devil tell you it's worth it. Heaven is worth it all. Amen. Having fellowship with Jesus, having peace with God, knowing when you lay down at night, it's well with your soul. Nobody else can give you that but Jesus. And this is an hour and a time that the enemy He's pulling every thing he can pull out, every rabbit he can pull right. out of the hat. He's pulling. And he's using it against God's people Come on. to put things in their hearts. He's really working on people's hearts. Things that used to didn't matter to you. He'll try to make it matter to you now. 
I know you dig up stuff that used to didn't even phase you. Come on, brother Reed. But it seems like he's he 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 he's Come on. he's he's juiced it up some. Come on. It's the truth. <laughs> Things that didn't bother you, he's he, he's juiced it up and oh. it's like it's trying to get to you. Come on, oh. Things you could walk through. He's using now to discourage folks. To make people throw the towel in. It ain't worth it. It ain't worth it. And I'll tell you what. The thing about our greatest victory over the devil is a prayer life. You you pray, you keep a step ahead of the devil. Come on. Come on. Prayer keeps you a step ahead of the devil and to keep you where you can keep the right attitude too. When something comes against you, you be able to stay saved. Yeah. All right, go ahead now. Come on. Something comes against you, you be able to keep the right spirit and not take on the wrong spirit. Come on. All right. He'll turn a, a, a an hill into a mountain, folks. Yes, he will. I said he'll take, turn an ant hill into a mountain. Yes. Yes. It really won't be. Or he's making it out to be. But when he blows it up to you, it'll be a mountain. But when you come back to your senses and pray through, the devil made a fool out of you over a hand here. Come on. That's the truth. He said, boy, this is crazy. This ain't nothing. What am I upset about? Why did I even get up? Why did this even bother me? Why didn't I? Realize and know that it's the devil. Satan's on the job. Just like God's on the job, the devil's on the job. Like God's leading us through into Canaan land, the devil's trying to stop us. You got the Canaanites, the Parasites, the Hittites. And they're in the land, but Haman knows that God drove them out. And gave the land to the children of God. I know a lot of times them old Hittites and Parasites and Canaanites is that old flesh of ours. Come on now. And that old flesh has to be driven out. That old flesh has to be conquered. Come on, Come on. It's just that we 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 don't can't take nothing no more. Come on. Nobody can say nothing to us no more. We're on the edge. We're ready to fight. Ready to get upset. When Jesus taught us, he spoke not a word. He spoke not a word. He just let it ride. And just kept on keeping on. Hallelujah. You know why? Jesus knew he was on a mission. He was on a journey. And it wasn't going to be, that journey wasn't going to be without testing. Come on. Because without testing, the Bible said he became the author yes. and the finish of our faith. It behooved him to be made like unto his brethren. He didn't take on him the nature of angels, but the seed of Abraham. All right. That he might be laid like unto his brother. All right. That he could be an example. That he could walk this life and put his two feet right down here and go and walk among people that hated the truth. And walk among and face a devil that didn't want him to go. That, that he come. With a mission, he come to die on the cross. Not only to die on the cross, he come to live a life without sin and conquer the devil in his in his life, in his flesh. The Bible said, "As he was, so are we." See, Jesus' life wasn't without trials, and we're headed. We're headed somewhere, folks. If we weren't headed anywhere, the devil wouldn't be bothering you. Oh, 
If you hadn't done made up your mind and got on your knees and said, God, I want to go. Lord, I want to do something for you. Lord, I want to live right. I don't want to mess around with you, Lord. I want to be right. I want to be holy. I want my heart clean. I don't want nothing in my heart against nobody. The devil heard that. Yes, he did. He knows your intentions. He knows your desire. And what he does. And God allows it. Because that's in it. That, that's, that's the word we are made. He said the trial of your faith is more precious than gold that perishes. The trial of your faith is precious. It's a precious thing when you can go in a trial and come out praising God. It's a precious thing to overcome the devil in the midst of your trial. Yes, it is. To stand. What did he say? Having done all to stand. Stand back up and stand again. Don't throw the towel in. Don't quit. Fight the good fight of faith. Lay hold on everlasting life. And look at everlasting life. It's something more precious than all the devil's trying to get you to reach out and grab on this earth eternal life. Eternal life. Everything else. You're going to leave it behind anyhow. See what happens to us. We allow ourselves to step out ahead of God. Right. And start trying to deal with things instead of waiting on Him. Come on now. Come on, Jesus. Mm -hmm. Help me, Lord. Instead of just humbling yourself and saying, God, you know all about this. Right. See, if, if the, right before the breakthrough, if the devil can get something in your heart, He's accomplished a hindrance in you that might keep you out of what God. Oh my God. But you know what? God allows him to test you because if, if he can, there's something still in you that's got to come out. Come on, it's the truth. We won't just cover it up. <laughs> Put it behind the curtain, shove it up under the bed. We're going to spread down real neat and where there ain't a wrinkle in it. Come on. But we just shoved something up under the bed. Oh, Come on. And the thing about it, we know it's there. Oh, but you can shove it on that and push it so long. And you tend to excuse yourself that it's even there anymore. Come on. Come on. Come on. Right. Come on. Just getting down, letting it go. Just saying, God, the most important thing is serving you. Lord, the most important thing, it ain't what I go through and my trials. I've got to, I, I, it just makes me, it molds me. Je the Bible said, Jesus was tempted in all points. Let us know it can be done. You can overcome. Come on. He said, in this world, you'll have tribulation. But at the same time, in me, while you're going through them tribulations, you'll have peace in your heart. Thank you, Jesus. In this world, you'll have tribulation. You're going to have them, he said. The devil's going to hate you when you make up your mind to serve God. The devil's going to try to stop you when you made up your mind to go all the way with Jesus, to go into Canaan land, to march in with the Israelites, the Hebrews, the, the children of God, the Holy Ghost filled, the sold out. You got your mind made up to march into that land, to see God's glory, to see His power, to see the manifestation of Jesus Christ in us. You know it's real. You know it's the plan of God. You know that's what God has prepared for us. And you know too. Like Paul said, there's an open door. God has opened a door. But there's many adversaries. 
There's an open, a fervent door is open. See, there's an open door. It's open. It's open. God said, come on. Come on in. Walk on in. Press your way into my kingdom. Because many adversaries. And the devil is using all these little knickknacks things, pulling things out of his out his head. This, that, this, that. To disturb you. There's one thing about God. He wants your heart right. Come on. He wants your heart clean. He wants your heart not distorted. Smoked all up. You can't see clearly. He wants you to be able to see clearly. Come on. Keep that vision of Canaan land. Where there's no vision, the people perish. Amen. Amen. Where there's no vision, the people perish. And the devil can get something in your heart. See, he knows. He knows. God allows him to know some things. Where he can stand before you. God allowed the devil to use things against Job. The devil showed up. God was having a meeting with the sons of God. And the devil showed up at the meeting. And the Lord said, what are you doing here, Satan? What are you doing here, devil? He said, well, I've been walking down to earth, to and fro, seeking whom I made a vow. I'm killing everybody I can kill. Everybody you let me. Come on. And God said, Have you considered my servant Job? There's none like him. In all the land. So, well, I reckon so. You got to hedge him out. You take that hedge now and I'll make him turn on you, cuss you. God gave him leave. Not once, but twice. God gave him leave. First, he destroyed everything you had all around him. Everything was destroyed. Even his children, he lost all of his children. A servant come running and say, yeah, animals are gone, your sheep are gone, your servants are dead. I, I escaped and other runs and I'm the only one who escaped. Another guy, I'm the only one who escaped. One after the other. And that's what the devil will do. He'll try to overload your mind. Yes. Oh, but sometimes we have to take a step back, drop down on our knees, and say, Lord, like the old song, leave it there. Leave it there. Hallelujah. Take your burdens to the Lord. Leave them there. You can't work them out and straighten them out. No how. The devil's going to prolong it in him. Come on, Come on. Come on. Come on. I said he'll prolong it in him when it would have straightened out. God will allow the devil to prolong it. Hallelujah. Let your test be final. To test you and to try you. Praise God. And to make sure you got the fight in you to make it with. You got the fight in you to be faithful to his kingdom. You got the fight in you to go to all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Heal the sick, cast out devil. You got the fight in you that you won't throw the towel in the first trial. First time you get a whooping. 39 strikes, save one. 40 strikes, save one. You won't go have somebody arrested. But you do like them disciples with the backs bleeding, go off praising God because they were worthy. They had enough to be whooped over. That's why God used them. They weren't looking for a gun. And the devil paints you all kinds of things in your head. Don't you tell me you won't. Come on. You see yourself whooping somebody, slapping them. 
Come and shut up and knock her down. Yes. Straddle them and whoop them. Yes. Come on now. Put it on. You're going to leave me alone today. The devil put all this stuff in your mind. Come on now. And that's when you've got to stand up against him and reject his way and say, No, I receive Jesus' way. He took the low side. He humbled himself. Hallelujah. He humbled himself to the death of the cross, not only to be mistreated and slapped and spit. If anything will, will, will make you fight, a slap will make you fight. If you've got a fight in you, somebody pop you inside the head, you're going to be, you're going to come out. Or poop this. Double clutch. Back to the other side. Fight. Jesus. Now don't get it. They ain't want it. You don't conquer that. And that's the way we got to get. Jesus said, if they slap you on one side, your cheek, turn the other cheek. Let them have it. And it went on down and said, by this, we'll know that you're the children of your father, which is in heaven. When you can, when you can stand up and be mistreated, and take the low side and not fight back and give God praise yes. in your trial. See, the devil will distort it in your mind. This ain't no trial. Come on. This ain't what you call a trial. Come on. This is a personal thing. He just got something in Woo. it. For you. Come on. Come on, preacher. Come on. Help me, Lord. He'll try to make everything personal when it's nothing that God ain't going to let the devil kill you. Come on. He's just letting him try you. Yeah. He's just letting him test you. And we'll find out that thing's in us. That's right. When that jug, is, it looks like the water's so clear. When you shake that jug, you say, oh my God. Ooh. Look at all this trash. God, my God. See, God knows the trash is in you. You just lost sight of it. Mm. But God will allow somebody to come by and shake your jug. Yes, he come will. on, preacher. Come on, Lord. Come on, come on, man. To show you. Look at your son. I'm trying to help you. I want you to see who come you on. are and what's in you. And I want you to get it out of you. I'm getting ready to use somebody. And I've chose you. But you've got to give yourself. You got to give yourself to the trials. You got to give yourself to persecution. You know what he said? Blessed are those that are persecuted for righteousness. Come on. When men shall bless are those. When men shall revile you. And say all man of evil against you for my name's sake. He said rejoice. And be exceedingly glad. For so did they persecute the prophets. Not the hypocrites. The prophets. That was the Come on. He said the men of God went through this. You're not the only one. You're not the only one. The facts, the forces, and the heaviness, and the, and the weights. The devil is trying to weigh you down with everything on the right and on the left. Make it almost look like it's impossible to carry all this. He said, in this world you'll have tribulation. But in me, Jesus said, find him. Press your way through the cloud. Press your way through the storm. Press your way through to Jesus. Hallelujah. Fall on your knees and you'll find peace in the midst of a storm. While you're being tried. While you're being tested. While you're being tried. 
In me, in this world, you'll have tribulation. In me, you'll have peace. Be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. He went before us and paved the way. Didn't he? Amen. Tempted at all points. Like his we are. Jesus had feelings. Jesus was a man. I know a lot of times people, oh, that was Jesus. That was, yes, he was a man. Jesus Christ, a man approved of God. God wasn't no man. God is not a man, the Bible says, that he should lie. Neither the son of man that he should repent. God's a spirit. Jesus was a man, but the spirit of God was in Christ. That's why he said, I and my father are one. Tell him when you see me, you seen the Father. How sayest I? Show us the Father. I'm in my Father, and my Father's in me. And I'm in you. Yes. Oh. Thank you, Lord. But Jesus was tempted in every way that you and I are. Come on, brother. Yes, he was. It was given to him to walk this life. A human being, a man. He had a heavenly father, but he had an earthly mother. He was a man. Born not a will of man, will of flesh, but the will of God. He was born by God's will. And that word was made flesh and dwelt among us. And we beheld his glory as of the only begotten of the Father full of grace and truth. Praise God. But yet as a man, he was tempted. Try. You think about way on back Abraham, how God tested him. That he waited on Isaac. You know, even, even Isaac, Sarah come to him and said, look, you're telling everybody God blessed you as the sand of sea, the stars of the heaven. Said, you ain't even got a son. And don't look like he's coming. I'm bad. You better let me help you out. I mean, the flesh don't do nothing but produce flesh. Right. Went and got a hay garden and brought forth Ishmael. And Ishmael, and Abraham even said, Oh, that Ishmael will walk before the Lord. And God said, No, not Ishmael. Ishmael's of the bond one. I told you, Isaac. Right. Hallelujah. Glory. Glory be to God. In God's time, yeah. we have to wait. The Bible said, and then Isaiah 40, they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. We have to wait on it. Even in trials, even in tribulation, even when everything seems to be going wrong, we have to wait on Him and believe and trust Him. That he's going to take us through. It's going to be all right. In Jesus. Yes. The one thing about it. He will fulfill his promise. He Every promise in the word of God will be fulfilled. Right. Come on. And he told us. Yeah. There'd be a church without spot, blemish, or wrinkle. Yes. Yes. That's the kind of church Jesus is coming after. And there's going to be one here when he comes. Yes. Oh. He's not going to be disappointed when he comes. That's his word. His word will bring it to pass. His word will work. His, his word tonight is working to bring all this to pass. To fulfill all of God's word. It's working tonight. The Holy Ghost is working. It's moving. Down the road, some of you are going to look back and say, my God, he was moving all the while. Yes, it was right. just so cloudy that I couldn't see. Yes. Mm. Mm. Come on. He was moving all the while. Yes. He was working all the while. Yes. Can you say amen? Yes, man. Hallelujah. He's working tonight. He's working. Right. Jesus is working. Yes, he is. He's working. When, yes, he is. Like that song they sang. When it don't seem like he's working. He's working. 
He's working. He's working. When it don't feel like he's still working. Jim sings that song. He's still working. When it don't seem like nothing going on, he's working. Hallelujah. He don't feel nothing. He's working. Hallelujah. He's still Jesus. Pause you. Woke up and don't feel nothing this morning. Don't mean he ain't on the throne. He's still on the throne. He's still God. Hallelujah. And he's working. He's working. Look at somebody and say, he's working. Right now he's working. Clap him in the run and take about seven, eight people through the hand and say, he's working. Right now he's working. When did he ever tell you wasn't working? Hallelujah! When did he ever tell you wasn't working? He's working. He's working right now. He's working. He's moving. Hallelujah! He's preparing a people. He's preparing a church. He's preparing a folk, a people, to go into the land of Canaan. We're moving. We're not stopped. We're pressing in. Praise God. Hallelujah, we're going to make it. We're going to make it. Thank God we're going to make it. We're going to see his glory. And the devil's alive. We're going to overcome. We're going to put him down. We're going to quit allowing these little things that upset us to upset us. We're going to rise up above these things. And we're going to put that devil on our foot. Hallelujah. He said, Behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents. Not serpents tread on you, but you tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. And nothing by any means shall be able to hurt you. Or I'll harm you. My God. Amen. Gonna overcome. Gonna overcome. Gonna overcome. Hallelujah. Quit allowing these little old ant hills Come on. to be made into a mountain. Come on, real. Hallelujah. But see it as what it is. Try. See is it what it is. It's a devil. See is it what it really is. God keep my eyes open. Let me see what things really are. Don't let it get blowed up to me until I lose my way. Hallelujah. Thank God that I take this thing personal. It ain't personal. This is a Jesus thing. This is a kingdom of God thing. This is a Holy Ghost thing. This is a word of God thing. God's leading us. God's teaching us. God's testing us. God's trying us. This is a Jesus thing. This is a word of God. We're going to begin to put our foot on his head. Quit and allow him. Well, what's he going to do about this? Come on, preach it. Pray. Uh -huh. Give it to God. Come on. Yes. But pray. Yes. Give it to God. Pray. You run yourself ragged. Trying to make something right. right. When you can't do it, no. Come on. You're dealing with the devil. You ain't dealing with man. You're dealing with the kingdom of Satan. You're dealing with the spirit of Antichrist. Yeah. And I want you to know the devil's got a lot of folks that he can use. Yes. Yes. Did y'all hear me? Yes. The devil's got people he can use. Those that ain't submitted to God, those that ain't praying, can be used. Yes. Come on now. Yeah. Come on, Go ahead. Against you. Mm. Come on. The devil loves to turn brother against brother. Come on. Sister against sister. Come on. Friend against friend. Parents against children. Children against parents. Come on. 
That's what he said would happen. We got to learn all these things. It's part of. Come on, that's right. All these things are part of. And God's going to allow us to go through these things. To come out of shining light. He said, You're the salt of the earth. You're the light of the world. A city set on a hill that can't be hit. All this that God has given us is just like ain't, you ain't going to get somebody out the street and join the military and put them in the cockpit of a jet fighter. he got to go through training. Right, right. Training and training on top of training. He's got to know how to fly that thing. He's got to know how to use that radar. He's got to know how to take off and land. He's got to know how to shoot them rockets. He's got to know how to drop them bombs. That's good. He's got to be able to drop it right over next to the the friendly soldiers and get the enemy. Come on. That's right. He's got to know how to hit the target. Now we're in war, see them jets coming. I think, oh, let him, come on. oh, let him come, drop it on the, because a few times they dropped it on their own folks, you know. Come on. If I saw that thing coming, I was going to try to run. I didn't know if I could make it. I sure wasn't going to sit there and take it. <laughs> come on, real. I was going to take a run for it, try to get out. <laughs> uh, <laughs> They ain't going to just take somebody out the streets, put him in an army tank, put your wheel in his hand, say, Y'all the enemy, go over y'all and kill him. He don't know what he's doing. He get down and just start swinging that thing all around, shooting, boom, the Everybody's done. Hey. <laughs> Shoot in every direction. Shooting at the good and the bad. <laughs> shooting at the enemy and turn around shooting at his, yeah. at his own folks. I know we got to go through severe training, folks. Man, your mind got to be balanced. Your spirit's got to be where it needs to be solid. Your faith has got to be solid only in Jesus Christ and not trust in yourself or step out in your flesh but only step and move when God says move and you walk and you step out by faith. You're fully trusting Him. Your confidence fully in Jesus. And if you do that, everything will be all right. You're in God's hand. Yes, man. Listen to what he said. Fifth chapter of Matthew, he said. Verse 37, 5 and 37, let your communication be yea, yea, nay, nay. But whatsoever is more than these, Cometh of evil. Let's back up here toward the first part. First verse, sin about you, and he, he went up to a mountain, and when he was set, his disciples came to him, and he opened his mouth and talked to him, saying, Blessed. Are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. See, 
So when you meet, your blessing is you'll inherit the earth. It's a blessing that when you mourn, your blessing is you'll be comforted. And when you've got a poor spirit, your blessing is you'll have the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness. What's that blessing? They shall be filled. Blessed are the merciful. What's that one? They shall obtain mercy. You get mercy when you give it. Blessed are the pure in heart. What's their blessing? They shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers. What's their blessing? They shall be called the children of God. Blessed are they which are persecuted. What's their blessing? For righteousness sake. For theirs is the kingdom of heaven. When people persecute you because you're living right. When people hate you. Not Jesus said, if you was of the world, the world would love its own. But you cause you're not of the world, the world's going to hate you. Come on. Blessed are they that when men shall revile you and persecute you and shall say all men of evil against you falsely for my sake. For his sake. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad. For great is your reward. In heaven. For so persecute they the prophets. Which was before you. You are the salt of the earth. See that's what makes you the salt. When it just read. That's what makes you the salt. You got a poor spirit. You mourn. You got a meek spirit. You hunger and thirst at the righteous. And you feel you got mercy. You got a pure heart. You're a peacemaker. That makes you the salt. You're persecuted for righteousness sake. You're doing right when they persecute you for living right. That's the day that men shall revile you. See, this makes you, he said, you are the salt of the earth. But if the salt has lost its saving, where we shall it be seasoned? It is therefore good for nothing but to be cast out under the, be trodden under the foot of men. See, salt without saltness ain't no good for nothing. Come on. And when you lose this, your mercy, your poor spirit, you mourn. Peacemaker, not a peace breaker. Then you're a light in the world, a city. A city that's set upon a hill cannot be hid. Neither do men light a candle, put it on a bushel, but on a candlestick and give it light to all them that are in the house. Let your light so shine before men. They may see your good work to glorify your Father which is in heaven. Think not that I'm come. To destroy the law and the prophets. I'm not come to destroy. But to fulfill. For verily I say unto you. Till heaven and earth pass. One jot or one tittle of the law. And no wise shall pass. From the law. Till all be fulfilled. Whosoever therefore shall. Break one of these. least commandments. And shall teach men. So he shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. Whosoever shall do and teach them, the same shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. For I say unto you, that except your righteousness shall exceed the righteousness of the scribes and Pharisees, ye shall in no case enter to the kingdom of heaven. You have heard it said to them of old time, Thou shalt not kill whosoever shall kill shall be in danger. For the judgment, but I send you that whosoever is angry with his brother without a cause shall be in danger of the judgment. Whosoever shall say to his brother, Rekha, shall be in danger of the council. Whosoever shall say, Thy fool, shall be in danger of hellfire. Now, if thy brother 
if thou bring thy gift to the altar, and there remembers that thy brother hath all against thee, leave there thy gift before the altar. Go thy way first, and be reconciled to thy brother, and then come and offer thy gift. Agree with thy adversary quickly, while thou art in the way with him, lest at any time the adversary deliver to the judge, the judge deliver thee to the officer, you be cast into prison. Verily I say unto thee, thou shalt by no means come out thence, till thou hast paid the uttermost part. Ye have heard that it was said of them of old time, thou shalt not come into adultery. I say unto you that whosoever shall look upon a woman to lust that to her commits the adultery already in his heart. If thy right hand, I offend thee, pluck it out, cast it from thee. For it's proper for thee that one of thy members should perish, and not thy whole body should be cast into hell. And if thy right hand offend thee, cut it off, cast it from thee. But it's proper for thee that one of thy members should perish and not that the whole body should be cast into hell. It had been said, whosoever shall put away his wife, let him give her a right into the divorce. But I say to you that whosoever shall put away his wife, save him for the cause of fornication, cause her to commit adultery. Whosoever shall marry her that divorce commits adultery. Again, you have heard has been said of them of old time, Thou shalt not forswear. Thou shalt perform thy oath, the Lord thine oath. But I say to you, swear not at all, neither by heaven nor by God's throne, nor by the earth, for it is his footstool, neither by Jerusalem, for it is the city of the great king, neither shalt thou swear. By the head, because I can not make one hair white or black. But let your communication be yea, yea, nay, nay, for whatsoever is more than these cometh of evil. You have heard that it's been said, and I have an eye tooth for tooth, but I said to you, resist not evil. Whosoever shall smite thee on thy right cheek, turn to him the other cheek also. If any man will sue thee at the law, Take away thy coat. Let him have your cloak also. And whosoever shall compel thee to go a mile, go with him twain. Give to him that asketh of thee. From him that would borrow of thee, turn not thy way. You have heard that it had been said, Thou shalt love thy neighbor and hate thy enemy. But I say to you, love your enemies. Bless them that curse you. Do good to them that hate you. And pray for them which despite will use you and persecute you. Why, Lord? Why all this? That you may be the children of your Father which is in heaven. Obedience to all this makes us the children of God. For he maketh his son to rise on the evil and on the good. And he sent his rain on the just and unjust. For if you love them which love you, what reward have you? If you just love people, it's easy to love folks that love you and show you love. Man, you ain't done nothing. You ain't done a thing in the Christ-like manner. Where your Christ is if you could just love folks that love you, it's easy to love folks that show you all kind of love. Amen. But what about them that hate you, despise you, use all kinds of things against you, trying to get at you? He said, that's, that's what makes you a child of God. When you can love you anyway. Amen. Amen. For if you love them which love you, what reward have you? Do not even the publicans the same. That's sinners. So sinners do this. Sinners love folks that love them. Oh, 
And if you salute your brethren only, what do you more than others? You're not even the publicans or the sinners. So if you just wave at folks that wave at you, wave and smile at somebody that waves and smiles at you, he said, you ain't doing no more than the sinners. But when you can wave and smile at somebody that's doing something else, Grinning at you, shaking the fist at you, shaking the gun at you. That's what makes you a child of God. When you, he he said in one scripture, he said, "Be not overcome of evil, but overcome evil with good." This is how we whoop the devil: is do good to them that does us evil. That's how. That's the only way. You can defeat the devil is do good to them that mistreat you. Be not overcome with evil, but overcome evil with good. Deep down in your heart, God sees. He sees what you're doing it, why you're doing it, how you said it, why you said it. Why you told a certain person you wanted to blow it up? You told somebody would tell it, you didn't want to tell it, but you told somebody it would. And you knew they would. But you told them, don't tell this. And you knew all the while they were going to tell it. You know they were going to scream it on the housetop. If you salute your brother and only, what do you more than the sinners? Verse 48. Be ye therefore perfect, even as your Father, which is in heaven, is perfect. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Tell him you love him. Tell him you want to be a Christian. Hallelujah. Oh, come on and tell him you love him. Thank you, Jesus. Praise his holy Luke 6 and 36 says, Be ye therefore merciful, as your Father also is merciful. Judge not, and ye shall not be judged. Condemn not, and you shall not be condemned. Forgive, and ye shall be forgiven. But love you in it, and do good. And lean hoping for nothing again. And your reward shall be great. And ye shall be the children of the highest. For he is kind. And to the unthankful. And to the evil. Be ye therefore perfect. Even as your father which is in heaven. Is perfect. And you say amen. Stand on your feet with me tonight. Thank you, Jesus. Come on and wave your hands to him and tell him you love him. Oh, I want to follow him, don't you? Any man to come after me, then deny himself. Take up his cross. You know, don't be like that old mule. Just kick out the harness. Just fly all apart. Just start kicking. Turn all the way around the harness and keep slap out. Just blow the whole thing up. And the old mule done kicked out and kicked down. He's sitting there with his head now. No, he done messed up. Tore the corn down. Kicked out the harness, tore up the plow. Run off with it. Snatched the chains and broke them. Can you say amen? amen. 
Don't you love him tonight? Wave your hands to him. Lord, thank you, Jesus. Lord, Lord I want to be a Christian in my heart. Lord, I want to be a Christian in my heart. In my heart. In my heart. Lord, I want to be a Christian in my heart. Lord, I want to be like Jesus in my heart. Don't you want to be like Jesus? Let's come to this altar tonight. Let's humble ourselves before the Lord. Let's just empty it all out to Him and tell Him in my heart. In my heart, Lord, I want to be like Jesus. In my heart, oh, I want to be like Jesus. In my heart, Lord, I want to be like Jesus. In my heart. In my heart, in my heart, oh Lord, I want to be like Jesus, in my heart, Lord, I want to love my neighbor, in my heart, Lord, I to love my neighbor in my heart. In my heart. In my heart. Lord, I want to love my neighbor in my heart. Lord, I want to be like Jesus. In my heart, Lord, I want to be like Jesus. In my heart, in my heart, Lord, in my heart, Lord, I want to be like Jesus. In my heart. Hallelujah, Lord, you always took the low side. You never did stand up for yourself. You forgave when they done you wrong, when you didn't do nothing. You still forgave them for what they done to you. Lord, help us tonight to have forgiveness in our heart for those that do us wrong. When men shall revile, Say all men of evil against us for your name's sake. Lord, let us rejoice and be exceedingly glad. For so did they prosecute the prophets that was before. Oh, Lord, we want to be a Christian in our hearts, Lord. We want to follow that teaching of Matthew 5 and receive all the blessings. Blessings that appear in the heart. Blessings of all that mourn. Oh, Lord. Blessings of they that do hunger and thirst at the righteous. Oh, Lord, let us receive all these blessings because we obedient to your word tonight. Lord, let us enter into all these blessings that we might be the salt of the earth and the light of the world. That we might take Jesus to a lost and dying world. That we fight the good fight of faith and we lay hold on eternal life. 
Lord, when we're tested and we're tried, we don't let it change our spirit, Lord. We keep the right spirit. We humble ourselves. And we forgive our enemy. We love our enemy. And we forgive those that mistreat us and say evil things about us. You said that we might be the children of your Father which is in heaven. Lord, that's our desire. We want to be. We want to be your children. Lord, we want to stand out. We want to be that light in the world, that salt of the earth. We want to be that people that you use in these last days. Bless your people tonight, Lord. Give us a right spirit as we humble ourselves before you tonight. You said, blessed are the merciful. Lord, let us have mercy. You, you, you told them, you said, Father, forgive them for they don't know what they're doing. They said if they knew who you are, they would have never crucified the Lord of glory. Lord, we thank you. We praise you. In the name of Jesus. Lord, I want to be like Jesus in my heart. In my heart. Lord, I want me like Jesus in my heart. Can you say amen? We're going to change the order of the service tonight. Give you a chance to bring your offerings, tithes, or whatever you have.